Hey, what's up guys? Justin here with Rampengu Nation, and I thought that I would showcase the new Adam Mansa Powder deck with the new Master Rule Revision and the new Bandless that just came out. I like this deck a lot. It reminds me a lot of Sullivan's mixed with Ritual Beast, um, because like these remind me of the fusions and like how the monsters with these being tamers and these being beasts. Um, I like this deck, how it flows and stuff you can do, and it relies mainly on Synchro Summoning. So a lot of you might enjoy this deck. So let's uh get into the list real quick and i'll explain the choices uh this is gonna have to be multiple series with multiple different combos i'll have to showcase for you guys but um this first uh installment of the combos it's gonna be like the no minor combos essentially shout out to dribble braithwit uh braithwit for uh showcasing me the beginning of the combo with the uh, uh what uh blue and uh the spell ends on essentially you can use all mirage and that's going to be your main facilitator if you don't open a minor okay so let's get into the list we play uh three analyzer three dragite two Lena, and two uh reptite these are the worst of the two dragite's the best one because that's actually what your starter is for the combo if you don't open a minor uh Leona and Raptide are your extender ones, essentially, is what I like to call them. So that's what you want to hit off your researchers and seekers for Leona and Raptide synchros. Um, so the crystals, I think seven is the correct number. And that's what I like to go with. So three researcher and three seeker, because we want to maximize our miners. Uh, I call these guys miners. Uh, three analyzer, I know it's like the worst of the three though, but you want to be able to maximize on your miners because this deck can generally still put up a board if you just hit off a miner alone. Uh, for hand traps, I think this deck has like 10 flex spots. So let's go over the hand traps. Three Ash Blossom, two DD Crow, uh, three uh, uh, Cosmic Cyclone. Those are my flex spots. And then the one Seravis because I play Herald and I can search it off Herald. I play the one that spot 001 because we play the Mecha Phantom Beast Oradin and then Oradin, I think it's called. But uh, this is our main combo piece. You can use Jet Syncron instead and play Axel. Uh, the Axel Synchro in your deck, and you can do a bunch of cool stuff with that. Uh, three of the Dinaressa uh, Coalacelet. I like this over Doki Doki because now it lets me able to increase the stone count, crystal count in the deck. And because like uh, the Coalacelet and a crystal is full combo. Whereas Doki Doki is too prone to hand traps, and I like how these two interact with each other. Uh, I play a three Quakimara Dragon. This is your best out to Nibiru. And you can special it off of any of your miners, which is nice. Um, 101, line. This is the main combo piece of the deck off Oradin. So this is your uh, Christian Halka Fibrax target. And this is your Oradin target. Uh, one Seravis. This is your Herald target. Uh, two field spell. I don't like three because it can clog too much, even though it's not a hard once per turn. If I played the trap cards, I would consider playing three field spell. Uh, three Adam Emancipator sign. This is the... Uh, the best extender in the deck because it's not a hard once per turn and it can stack your deck and set you up and also like you can um use uh other stuff with it i would consider adding upstart to the deck i just don't know what i'll cut because upstart and uh lapatite is pretty nice and actually upstart and lapatite's like really nice so you probably would want to fit upstart in and but it's all up to like creative decisions you could probably cut a cosmic here so i'll probably end up doing that so three signs, three cosmic cyclone because I want outs to mine and back row decks, especially the Eldritch deck, which is this, one of the sex worst matchups. Monster Born, it's an extender and terraform to grab your Laputite. Uh, side deck's pretty generic: three Nibiru, two Dark Ruler, three Storm, two Anti Spell for an order for a Dark Ruler, three Evenly Matched and Reboot. For the extra deck, we play one Risen Dragite. One Risen Leonite and one Risen Reptile. Reptile is my favorite out of these because this one can guarantee you an extender, which Signs is only a 3 of, so Leonite could only grab 3 of Signs, whereas Reptile can grab a 9 of Minor, making it way better than Leonite. Leonite's better in a more trap heavy build, but this is not what we're focused on in this video. Uh, one Savage, he's your main Omni Negate. One Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. One Herald, he's an Omni Negate and a Floodgate Monster. Essentially, because against the L Lich deck, they can't use L Lich's ability because any monster sent from the hand or main deck to the graveyard is banished instead. It's basically a dimensional fissure on the field, so this counters a lot of strategies. It counters like Neftabish trying to send dragoons, it counters L Lich, it counters a bunch of stuff. Also, it's just a negate and it can serve Saravis. Uh, one satellite warrior, there will be times when you want to use Analyzer and your Raptite or Leonite to make it. 
or you want to use researcher and seeker with drag out to make it and they can just help you against back reducts and you just uh pop cards which is pretty nice uh generally you're gonna have like a lot of synchro monsters so it's pretty nice um uh, one charge warrior there are times where you're gonna want to draw a card because you can set up how you're drawing card with lapitite so essentially you can like stack with lapitite stack a researcher charge warrior draw a researcher special if you have an extender and continue from there because then charge warrior can make either savage or crystal wing or dragite with the extender that you get uh one tg wonder magician because at times there's sometimes where your Halka Firebrax is going to get stopped and you want to have a Synchro to be able to summon, that's an interruption. Uh, one Dweller, one Granite, and one Tornado Dragon. These are my rank fours of the deck. I like Dweller because it's the best like a flood against uh, against Dark Ruler because every deck in the game is always going to be Graveyard Alliance. I like Tornado Dragon. This helps you versus the Trap decks a lot. And this is what you'll end up making instead of Dweller because they aren't going to be siding Dark Ruler versus you. And I like Granite because Granite's your extender and combo facilitator of the deck. And then you only play three links in the deck. One Halka Firebrax, one Araradin. Those two are the main combo pieces. And the Almirage, what to do if you don't open miners, essentially. Um, so, all right, so let's go into the combos. All right, guys, let's get into the combos. So for the first combo, uh, I'm going to have where we just open... Uh, uh, Lapitite and any miner. This can work if your miner also just uh, is by himself and it hits, right? So it doesn't matter. I'm just using Lapitite for reasons to show that you can draw off your Dragite too and you get an additional card. So first we're going to stack with our Lapitite and we're going to stack Dragite to the top of our deck. Then we're going to use our Seeker and we're going to excavate the top five and then we're going to hit our Dragite. Dragite's the best one to hit here. Um, Dragite one and summon is that we get to draw a card and then that's what we're going to do. We drew Researcher, but for all intents and purposes, we're going to assume that we drew something just bad, like, or like just decent, like a hand trap, right? So first I'm going to make our Christian uh, Halka Firebrax. Uh, I don't know why it's like so buggy here on DB on the replays. But um, yeah, we're going to use Halka Firebrax and Special Summon our Death Spot from our deck. So this is where I switched the Researcher to something just like Ash Blossom, right? So now we're going to use our those two cards and make our uh, Mega Phantom Beast or Radin. Our red ends effect is going to trade to give us three tokens. And then we're going to use our Despot's effect to special summon itself because two or more machines were special summoned at the same time from the Aura Radin. This way, you can use Jet Synchro instead, like I said earlier, but you just want to have something that just doesn't make you discard. Okay, so now we're going to synchro those two. Well, sorry, we're going to tribute those two for our red ends effect to special summon O line from our deck. Now we're going to use these tokens that are level three that are special summon of Aura Radin. Uh, so we're going to synchro all three of those now into a Savage. Then we're going to trigger Savage and Olion on a chain link uh, to equip our Oradin. And then we're going to get our token. And then we're going to use our Despot with this to make our Herald. So basically, if a Miner hits, uh, like this guy, if he resolves his effect successfully, you end with two negates. Um, if you have, if you hit Dragite specifically off them, the Miner, then you end with a draw with two negates, which is pretty good. Okay, that's it for the first combo. Pretty simple. This is the Oradin combo. All right, let's get into the no minor combos. If you open no miners, but you open signs and drag eye. This is where El Mirage comes into play. So let's go over like the maximum potential of the combo if everything goes right and what you can end on. Technically, you can get like super greedy and end with like Analyzer using Analyzer as the third guy if you make Raptor instead of Leonite here. But I'm just going to try to make it as simple as possible. So let's start with it. So we go make, uh, we'll normal summon our a Dragite and then we will make our Almirage. Then we will use our Science to special summon our Dragite. Science completely resolves uh, to stack a uh, Seeker on top of our deck. Has to be Seeker, not Researcher. Seeker has a moral restriction to summon only if you control a Adamant Spatter card. So this is why we're doing Seeker and not Researcher. Uh, when at it, when signs resolves, uh, Dragite's gonna trigger to draw a card. Then we're gonna use Seeker to special summon itself, and then we're gonna use Seeker's effect. We're gonna mill and assume a hit. So we're gonna special summon now our Dragite. Technically, you can do Analyzer here, and I guess I should have done Analyzer, but I'm trying to just show like if you don't like hit really well, because technically Analyzer can then hit again, and then you can overload the Analyzer after. But we're just gonna assume we just hit a stone. So now, does go to the bottom. I'm gonna overlay those two now for Granite. 
Okay, and its effect's gonna trigger, and we're gonna search our researcher. Now we're going to keep the researcher in our hand for now. Now we're gonna make our Christian on Helka Five Racks with those two, and then we're gonna special summon our Death Spot from the deck. Then we're gonna use our Helka Five Racks and our Death Spot to make our uh, Mecha Phantom Beast. We're saving the uh, researcher because we need hand space. So now we're gonna special summon three tokens. DB is like taking forever to load these. Um, and then our death spot's also going to trigger and special some from the grave. And then now we're going to tribute Alpha our Adden and our token to special summon our O line. You know, same thing like what we did before. Then we're going to synchro those three to make our Savage again. Savage isn't going to equip our O Adden and O line's going to give us a token. Now we're going to make our Herald with those two. And this is where I special our researcher because she only requires a rock to special summon her. What do you know? We have Granite, which is a rock. So we're going to special summon her and then use her effect, mill the top five cards of our deck, and then we're going to hit our Leonite. Uh, Leonite's supposed to trigger her, I accidentally made the synchro first, but Leonite does trigger uh, her. And we're going to stack the signs on top of our deck with the Leonite's effect when it was special summon from an Ad Emancipator card, the effect of an Ad, Eman Ad Emancipator. So we're going to stack on top of our deck our signs. Um, if we hit the green uh, crystal instead, we were going to make Raptite and stack on top of our deck either Researcher or Seeker. So now we're going to use our Leonite effect now, and then we're going to add the Signs to our hand. This is why Signs is really nice, because Signs is not a once per turn effect, a hard once per turn. So we're going to then use our Signs and then Special Summon our uh, Seeker or Researcher from the grave. And then uh, we're going to stack our Researcher on top of the deck for the follow up play in the next turn. Then we're gonna synchro those two into either Crystal Wing, you can make, um, what is his name? The Dragite Synchro instead, or anything else. So I'm just showing you like the maximum potential based on if you hit from the signs or just this two card combo. If your Seeker and Researcher hit, this is generically what you can end up. Okay, well let's assume that you're not a lucky duelist and excavating is not the best thing in the world. Nope, this is why I play seven uh, Crystals and I play the three Koki Mario Guardians, because you want to maximize the number of cards you can hit. Doki Doki is not a card by itself that does this. Doki Doki requires you to pitch another card in order to get that extender on the field, which is not good in terms of consistency. With these, you don't need to do that, and Doki Doki is also normal summoner line, which I don't like. So let's assume that you're not the luckiest person in the world, right? And let's assume our Seeker missed off the first one, right? So now we're going to start with the same combo, basically. We're going to make our El Mirage, and then we're going to sign back our Dragite. Dragite's going to trigger to stack our Seeker on top of our deck. Remember, it has to be Seeker, not Researcher. Then we're going to uh, special summon our Seeker, and then we're going to assume we miss off Seeker. I'm just not going to excavate for the purposes, but I'm just going to say we miss, right? So now we're going to make our Christian on with this, special summon our Death Spot. Then we're going to make those two into Oradin. And then Oradin's effect is going to trigger to give us three tokens. Then now we're going to use our Death Spot to re-special summon itself. Then we're going to tribute those two to special summon a lion, the Oradin, and one of the tokens. And then you can see where this is going. So we're going to make Savage again. And then we're going to special summon our token. Yay. But now here's where things get a little interesting. We have a drag eye left over. This is not like the first combo. We have an extra drag eye on the field. So what do we do here? We're going to make our Herald because we need a level 4 monster in the field. And now we're going to overlay our Herald and our drag eye to make our Gallant. And then Gallant's going to affect, going to trigger to add our Researcher, and then we're going to trigger Herald to add our Ravis. Then we're going to use our Special Summon our Researcher. Uh, so this this will trigger whenever it's sent. Uh, whenever this card is sent to the grave, you can add one Ritual Monster or Ritual Spell to your hand. This is why we play this Ravis. It's a Ritual Monster. It also will prevent targeting on our Savage, like from Impermanence or something like that, or Chalice or so. You can protect it. So now we're going to use our Researcher's effect, and we're going to mill the top five. We hit our Leonite. Remember, if we hit uh, Raptite, we could have just... If we hit the Raptite Crystal, we would just make Raptite instead of Leonite here. Uh, now we're going to stack the signs on top of our deck with Leonite's effect. And then we're going to make our Leonite Synchro Risen. And then we're going to use Leonite, uh, the Risen Synchro. And we're going to excavate the top five and hit back our signs and add our signs to our hand. Then now we're going to use our signs right here. And then Signs is going to switch some back our Researcher, and then we can either make Crystal Wing, or we're going to stack Researcher with Signs Effect. And then now we can either make Crystal Wing or our Dragite here. So basically, if we whiff off the Seeker, you just don't get with the Herald Negate, but you still end with these two Negates and a Seravis to protect one of these. So it's still like a 2.5 Negate, like an Omni Protection, which is nice. So 
Now, if you're kind of scared to have to depend on your researcher hitting, you can also take an alternative route by not going for the Crystal Wing with the Gallop play. You can also take a safer route if you don't feel comfortable trying to rely on your researcher to hit. So let's go to that combo now. For that combo, basically, uh, we're just gonna go through like the same procedures, you know, special that, get our, uh, stack our Seeker with our Drag Edge, we're gonna draw it, special our Seeker. And now we're going to make those two into our Christian. Christian's gonna special summon out our Despot. Uh, now we're going to make those two into our Auradon's. Auradon's going to get three. And then now we're going to tribute those two to special some. Well, this is going to special summon itself because it's special some two machines. We're going to tribute those two to special O-line. Then we're going to make our Burrow Lord Savage Dragon. And then we're going to get our token and equip. So it's going to have three Nick counters. And then we're going to get that. And then here we're going to make our Herald. But instead of making Granite, we're just going to make Dweller or Tornado Dragon. If you don't have to reply on your researcher. Uh, hopefully you guys like this. Uh, this is the no minor combos. This is uh, originally like shown to me by uh, Dribble uh, Braithwaite. He's been working hard in this deck, so shout out to him. Uh, hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and um, let me know. Uh, I can go through some more Atom Media combos and an updated Orcus list later on. But this is Justin with from Penguin Nation, and see you guys.